Wow. This music. Hang on a sec. Ah, that's what I was after. Elevator. Dreaming that you are going up in an elevator indicates you are achieving a higher level of understanding. You are making progress with your emotion and material well-being. Descending in an elevator suggests you are being grounded or coming back down to reality. Uh, may also signify setbacks and misfortunes. Wait, is this another bathroom? Yeah, we're at floor two now, so this is its own bathroom. I do have to open all of these. Because games put a thing in any repetitious doors. Never take the stairs again. Sometimes I need the exercise, though. Oh, can I use the hand blowers? Nope. Also, are those sinks actually just flat? Yeah, I think they are. I guess these are kind of like poly-expensive shapes, aren't they? It does have a little bit of bump mapping on it, so... Eh, it might be pitched. Yeah, it, it actually is. I'm just dumb. Don't worry about it. Oh, that does open. We just had an anonymous donation of 369. Just want to say thank you very much for that. Message says, Hey Nick, it brightens my day to see you stream. Uh, even though I can't always watch because of work. Have some of my paycheck and best of luck to you. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Whoever you are, you anonymous donor out there. You're a lovely person. Let's get some rock donkeys in chat, please. Oh, I've gotten up above the clipping range here for some reason. I don't know why there. Uh, dead end? Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. Please tell me, like, one of these drawers doesn't open. I'll never find it. Maybe that's the point. This is massive complex we're going through here. It's really quite large. That's what I said. Oh, weird looking pencil. Jotter A4 lined. Loined. Oh. That's a weird way to build your cubicles. There's like nothing in any of these, huh? Wow, it sucks for this person. Yeah, we didn't really care enough about you to give you your whole desk space, so like... You get this little corner to work and you can barely sit. I guess this person got it even worse. Mm. Collaborative area. Well, these windows are all boarded up. That tells us a thing, right? Oh, there's numbers there. I can't quite get to them, though, to read them properly. Four nine six. I don't know what that says. Five three six eight six five. There's the chip tunes weirdness again. Oh, are you gonna print something for me? You're just so vibrant and lit up. Apparently not. Okay, weird jammed office building. I don't know what to make of you at all. Is that the end? It just keeps on freaking going. Presentation area? I applaud the developer's tenacity for making so much of this. What the hell is that? Symbols. I can't really read it, and it won't let me interact with it. You'd think you could interact with that item. Lines on the wall. I uh, wrapped up the decrypting a bit ago if you're curious about the message. Yeah, lay it on me, man. Let's message it up. I figured there'd be some meaning behind it. Like, they wouldn't just put an arbitrary string of numbers. Oh. Found my way to the stairs again. 
Are there like other stairs? Oh, another bubble. Kitchen! Coming across a kitchen in your dream can show your willingness to create something from nothing. It can also symbolize a transformation of character, passion, and healing. Like you're warming up to an idea of something. I thought it said or something. <laughs> that would have been a fantastic way to end it. Like, like you're warming up to an idea or something. You know, like, whatever. I don't care. Just, just whatever. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of rooms that don't seem to do anything. But that's sometimes how it works. Now we're getting into, like, the double monitor rooms. These are the power users. That's our admin room. That's where they keep the server farms. If this was Fallout 3, I would have had at least five useless items by now, if not 20. The frequency and started picking and up noises. Converting it said this. Howard, Howard, get back here, young man. We only want what is best for you. And that is a solid education. You need to grow up and realize you can't just daydream forever, boy. Who is Howard? Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for figuring that out. It's nice to have... Oh, Harry Potter glasses here with us. That's what I was going to say. It's nice to have uh, someone who shows such care and attention to these little details. Because it certainly wasn't going to be me that would be looking that information up. Just juicy science, guys. My uh, mind decided to create a book called Just Juicy Science. It's the science of juicing and juiciness. Wait, did I just turn around? I always did. Okay, I'm kind of getting tired of these rooms now. There's, like, a lot of floors. Ah, there's one. I knew eventually this would pay off. It really kind of looks a little like a maxi pad floating in there, I have to be honest. Toilet. To see a toilet in your dream can symbolize a need to release. You have a possibility or opportunity to get rid of a negative situation. Alright, I guess that's fair. Your body does kind of look at your waist as a negative situation, usually. Hot young science in your area. Yep. There's experiments to run. There is research to be done on the singles in your area that are alive. What's going on in here? Is this the SCP holding room? Is this where they keep the giant squeezy man? Whoa. I got a little overzealous with the right click there. That's my fault. Office. This is a common environment and shows you are overworked or have too much on your mind. Taking time out of your normal routine should relax you. Unfamiliar office. If an office in your dream is unfamiliar or strange to you, it suggests that you are comparing yourself to someone else close to you. You're measuring yourself against other people's standards. Remember, you are your own person. I mean, not everybody dreams of offices, but I guess that's fair. I'm just talking to the people who do. I've never actually worked in an office. It always seemed like it would be kind of oppressive, but what is actually happening with the shadow inside of this cup, though? I guess it's just because we're doing, like, a fisheye effect, so it kind of distorts and bends. I skipped over intro stuff? I may maybe talked over it. I don't think I skipped over it, did I? Sorry if I did. I didn't mean to. Alright, so this is not an interactable object, despite it being the only thing in here of any major interest. That's kind of frustrating. Give me some payoff, please. Oh my god, these rooms. Are they trying to lull me into, like, a false sense of security and then some shit's gonna go real, real wacky? Is that what's going on right now? If you just give me, like, a cloaked shadowy figure just standing in a room still, it'll really throw me off. I absolutely won't expect it. Uh, oh. Alright, we're leading up to this then. This looks like the uh, Windows screensaver. 
gone awry. Oh. Where... Where do I find the key or the ability to get in where that little caboose toy was? Because that seems like a thing that I'm going to forget about soon. Also, can I not fit? There's totally stuff over there. I can't squeeze between these boxes. Maybe if I duck? Ah, it's another one of those! Game developer, please. You gotta sort those out. Corporate retreat. Who are you? What does he look like? Looks... Looks there's the, like, that robot... That you used to be able to buy, I don't remember what it was called, but it looked a little like that. It also reminds me a little of Tokobot on PSP. Oh, a crate maze. <laughs> you know, it's something. This is the second time that it's forced me to duck for no reason. Duck, duck, spruce. Nick actually never stopped playing Alchemilla. All the games between this and Alchemilla were merely a simulation. I would lose my mind in like five seconds flat, if that was true. If there was some way that I would have realized that all of a sudden. Oh, shit. It's the Doom server room. Watch out for the zombies. Thank goodness I've got this shotgun here. Data stockpile. Built you just hang the word in the air like that. Is this where the key, uh, the key holder goes? The key man from the Matrix? Here's the lock. Keymaster? That's the word. Looks kind of like the plastic Stay Puft dude. I took a picture of him sending it on Twitter the other day. Reminds me of the robot from anime Clanad 7. I've never heard of that one, sorry. Like, this is a solid Silent Hill looking area. The pipes are pretty interesting looking, actually. If the music was more crackly and radio staticky, like, absolutely, I would have... I could easily believe that this could be super horror. God, this is so sprawling! And honestly, the poly count is pretty wild in these rooms, I imagine. A lot of detail going on, but then there's just, like, chunks of it where there aren't anything. Laboratory! Being in a laboratory slash testing center means you are going through some sort of transformation. It can also show that you are experimenting with your inner feelings, faith, or fears. You are testing yourself. It's kind of like a literal translation of that metaphor, isn't it? I don't know if that's a thing you can say. My doctor... I was told to file away your new password. I accidentally left it on my desk. Love your receptionist. Heart, I believe in you. What a weird note! What receptionist... ...says, love your receptionist? So that's the password. What's the username, though? I believe in you. There's the one all the way down on the first floor, but I really don't want to find it. Oh, shit. Yes, please. Take me away from this place! Bring me to the Tartar- Tardis. Tartar. Bring me to the Tartar. That's, uh, really disappointing. Alright, so we're gonna have to probably activate that later. Odds Nick remembers the password? Zero. If you want to just tell me what to type into this, feel free, because I really don't feel like going back down there. I'll we'll just keep walking for a second while we sort that out. Oh, that's cool! This is pretty. This is a solid screenshot right here, if anybody's interested. I have, like, screenshot radar when I play games. For, uh, when I do indie impressions, I always do a screenshot of the, the gameplay at some point to put in the thumbnail of the video, and that's, like, I would use that, pretty likely. Thank you, RP Dak, for posting that in there. Dr. Brown, right. That's what it was. Oh my god, it keeps going. It keeps freaking going and going. This is the Energizer Bunny all over again. Hey, another one. 
Storage! To dream of storage units can- why is it capital D? Can relate to issues that you are keeping to yourself instead of confronting. Items kept in storage may symbolize your past or could be the things that are holding you back. Cluttered storage! To dream of clutter can represent a cluttered mind such as letting troubles build up instead of resolving them early on. Writing thoughts down on paper could help you organize your mind. I love there's little helpful hints in there as well about like how to better live your life. Thanks to Martha Stewart's better home and living suggestions. What is the relevance of these being here? There's two of them. I can't go through there. Clearly I'm meant to get out the other end though. Um, I should probably go to Dr. Browntown. All right, you got me. You make me do this, the sneaky snake pattern through there. That's pretty tricky stuff. Uh, shit, where am I now? There it is. Thought I got lost. Dr. Dre. Dr. Brown. Password B. B2T. 1995. Oh, with a space, not a dot. Nope, no space, doesn't allow me to. Did I mistype the password somehow? Username Paul Rudd. They lead to different dreams. Oh, thanks, Raging Scottsdale. No problem. Uh, oh, yeah, I believe there is a, a letter missing. I thought there was one more than that. B2TF 1995. I think that'll do it. Nope. Shit. Hmm. does not work. Alright. I like that those lead to different dreams. I'm kind of curious where those go. This place is so freaking big and cluttered, though. Like, I don't know if I'll find everything again without having to really hunt it down. So, like, we've passed two portals, potentially. Why do these keep shutting? Or do they? I've passed so many different bathrooms now. Uh, where's the stairs for the next floor? Alright, there's the boxes. Oh, the stairs stop here. There's one more floor though, right? So like... I thought there was anyway. Let's check in here. Oh no, it does stop here. Never mind. I'm just being silly. We got to the top. Uh, next suggestion maybe, let's try... The basement? Oh, those are not selectable. Okay. Did I start on the ground floor or the first floor? Oh, was it 1955? I like how as you get closer to the top, it gets more and more messed up. Yeah, this is the beginning. Now I can just look at it. Yep, 1955. That's what it was. B2TF91955. Sorry. Wasting everybody's dang time. So, uh, this one? Yeah. Surprisingly confusing. 
How much did I have to log into all this stuff? So B. Oh, now I just memorize it. B two T F nine nine five five. There we are. Oh, there's a door. Custom portal experiments. Those are sweet. All right, let's start at the beginning. Loading portal one. The the portal. All right. We good. Do it! Oh, baby! This is gonna F my bitrate right up. That is real pretty, though. This is what I needed. You gave me just what I needed. What do I do with this, though? Does this do anything? No, I wanna... I wanna do stuff with this. Oh! It's... I understand. Okay. I gotta just line these all up. I don't know how to know what controls what, though. It gave me a bunch of it already done. It should, like, highlight the ring that you're about to control when you mouse over the bar of it. Oh, come on. Hey, third ML kid, just subscribe. Thank you very much for your support and helping continue to make me able to continue streaming. I really do appreciate a whole bunch. If you could uh, drop a bunch of rock meows, please. I appreciate that. How about this one? Ah. And this one. No. Oh, these are just the left and right to those rings, aren't they? Each one is... Okay. I understand. I want to make sure these all flow in the same direction. And the only one I need is the outside ring. So when I do that, I'll do that. That does make it a little bit better. Oh, maybe the outside ring is immo immovable, actually. So that is actually the case. Let us sort them all now. No biggie. I already had them most of the way there. Uh, oh, that's got to go two more. Or two, three, four more. And this one? No, nope, wrong way. Don't worry, I figured it out. That would be our portal right there. Oh, that's pretty. Is it uh, solved now, or...? I think the code's all going in the same direction. I guess there'll be like a line underneath that when I go back to the computer. Or something. Yes. Alright, so now we're just gonna do a whole shitload of those now. Why can't you just, like, hit escape to leave the computer or press E again? Oh. They're all different. I thought they were gonna be the same type of puzzle each time. That's probably for the best, then. What the hell is this? What? These little domes. What does this do? Okay, I'm moving... I'm moving the yellow planet around its orbit. But to what end do I want to move it to? Is there a map somewhere that I need to see? Am I lining them up somehow? Okay, this is very disorienting. Maybe they all go in line to the purple one? Okay, there's a red and a blue line together. Maybe these two are supposed to be up against each other. I'm just gonna try lining them all up with the purple first, I guess. I hope this stream doesn't look awful right now because of- the Oh, that's what it means, that they're together when they move. Oh, this could be a freaking nightmare of a puzzle then. Uh, yeah, I, I hope this doesn't look like shit because of the amount of noise-making objects that are here. 
There's no way to just control them individually either. Yo, what does dreaming of dome puzzles mean for your life? Uh, wait, then I just want to get the green one? Oh, that's the only one you can control individually, I guess. So that's good. So all but green are actually sorted now. Oh! Okay, this actually isn't as bad as I thought. I've gotten all the other ones already there. I just need to get a couple more turns. There we go. Now we just slide the uh, yellow back around to... where is it? Oh, other side. Nope, other, other side. Wait, where is it? There. They're all in line. Did I win? The only way I can tell is to go back. I mean, I guess I didn't win, because it just doesn't feel like I did, but I don't know. How's the game? It's odd. It's a little tedious at times, but it's not awful. It's got some very interesting environments. Oh, I did win. Alright, let's go to uh, Green Blue Door. Yeah, I keep trying to hit escape, hit E, do all the other things. Then just hit that button in the corner there. Alright, some kind of Tetris-y thing. Oh, it's a Lights Out puzzle. I know these. Thank you very much, Church Raptor, for three months in a row subscriptions. Much appreciated, guys. If we could get a few Rock Yahas, please, for Church Raptor. I was assuming I was meant to turn them all off. Yeah? Let's see. No! That was not a solution. Uh, light them all up then. Sometimes you turn lights off, sometimes you turn them on in this game. I could have already had that one. That's a pretty easy one, though. Hey! Thank you so much, Play to Win! We got a little bit of a subtrain going on right now. I appreciate it. Guys, rock yahas are in order, please, for our friend the play to win. No. Nope. There you are. Sorted. Oh, okay, the little cube shows up in the corner and spins when it saves, so that's how I can find out if I win. Okay, good night, Church Raptor. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. And I hope you have a lovely rest. Why does this hallway have to be so far away from the computer? Can't you just change it from right inside? Oh. Oh, this is cool looking. This looks like a freaking piece of art that I would see in a museum. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing with it yet, but let's find out. I think we're... Are we connecting the lines? How do I interact? Ah, oh, okay. These are each a tile. This could be interesting. Let's see. So... This looks like a fracked OSC type puzzle, doesn't it? You gotta look at it straight on, or like you won't get an idea of where, where you're looking. So that's gotta go that way. Each one of these has to make it to its requisite end point. This one looks like it could take a bit, perhaps. Um, I can't really see very well, because all the lines are so all over each other. So the green terminates already there. I don't really have that. Okay, now it goes back up. Now it goes over. 
And what does the red do? The red is... The red is going down right now? Is that... I think that's what it's doing. Yep, and that goes back up. Dude, this is hard to see. It looks sweet as hell, though, when it lines up properly. Uh, so red's all the way up back top. Let's turn it... here? Okay, I don't know if that made sense. Uh, I gotta, like, regroup a little bit. Green is actually... Is green all the way across? No, I think this part right here breaks. If I could get directly in line with the lines to see them better, that might be helpful, but I can't. Alas, I cannot. Uh, this one needs to turn. We're on to something here, maybe. Ah! We've lit up red! I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. Um, because there's still stuff I haven't done here. Turn blue this way. Then... Oh! I had it! Okay, I don't understand why I have it, though. Maybe I don't care. Oh, it was taking the signal from up top somehow. Or was it? What did I change? I don't think I changed anything, it just stopped working. That's weird. Alright, well I have to feed the green one there. There's green. That goes across there, loops back up. Uh, and now we just need to do that, right? Yeah, that was a bug. Okay, that's what I thought. That didn't actually make any damn sense, so I was right in thinking I shouldn't have solved it there. Um, blue looks like it's connected, though. Doesn't it? Hang on. Let's trace it back from the beginning. So it goes straight across here, dips down, over, and back up, moves right. Uh, oh, wait, no, we get here, it loops down, back up, and around, then over the top. Oh, I just had it. That, no. So that's bugged, because that's not actually the solution. I, I had the correct solution, but that didn't count. What does it mean if your dreams are bugged? I didn't actually see the save there, so I hope that it worked. It did. It's cool. At least we figured it out. It's a little less gratifying when it doesn't solve properly, but, you know, we did get it. What are you? Uh... Oh, please tell me this isn't memory game. It totally is memory game. Now you're gonna have me hit those buttons? Oh, fuck me, I can't remember this. My memory's awful! on this one. <laughs> okay. Right. Bottom. Top. Left. Left. Middle. Oh, fuck. This is awful. Uh, 
that's about as far as I remember now. Uh, top left? No. Okay, bottom, top right. So we kind of linger in the right area for a bit. I just need to draw a little picture of it in my head. I'm drawing it with my finger in the air right now. Yeah, I really could write this down, couldn't I? Oh, I already botched it. It was... That one, that one. Uh, top right? No. jumps all the way around, then it goes down. Mm. Yeah, and the last, okay, there we go. Alright, that was, that was one of those ones that's like, just a memory puzzle. Got it. Hey, I didn't look in the trash, did I? What do you say? Do not open until 1985. That's my birth year. How'd you know what year I was born? Sorry if I made your eyes bleed. What do we have this time? Oh, a different kind of swirly puzzle. Excuse me, does this... Oh no, this is some anti-chamber bullshit. Oh, it's three levels? Fuck this. This looks awful. Alright, I hope that I can just connect these up from the bottom and hopefully fix it as I go and not have to really care too much. Let's give it a shot. Uh, so that loops it up so it's to that side. Oh, what? Oh, it's the whole thing. It's just connected all the way up. Maybe this isn't actually as bad as I just thought it was a second ago. I was just ready for it to be a big old disaster pile. Uh, I think that's right. I don't know what to do with the next side, but let's just see if it can keep going. Feed the green up! Feed the green, feed the green. No. I can't work. It has to come from one of the sides. That's not a way that that works. The 
Should be easy if it doesn't bug. Okay, well, let me reevaluate for a sec here. I just made a big old swirl there. Where can I curve? It doesn't look like I have a lot of other options. Maybe I just went the most obvious way, but that's not what I should have done. Let's start from a different origin point here. Is this... Which ones can I do? Like that. Alright, so that straight away goes up that way. So now we're working with the left corner. Uh, now it's got to bend. And this has got to turn up. At least we only have the one to deal with this time. Nope, but there's no... It's got to start to the right. I'm probably going to end up solving this by accident without even realizing I did yet. Hang on, where does this even connect from? That way. Wait, what's... No, I don't get it. We want it to come down from here. Is this screwed up in the middle somehow? I can't really tell. Up, up, up. None of those have the option to turn. Once you get past the first origin point... It looks like that's the way that it wants it to structure, though. Oh, it comes back around! Right, that's also an option, too. I forgot. Wait, that's how I started, isn't it? There's another way. Hey, True Doge. So that feeds up from there. Kicks back across. Now I'm just rebuilding the first creation that I started with. Um, oh god, looking at this from a different angle makes it so hard to tell what you're actually looking at. Goes that way, snakes up, so we're looking at a direct right angle. We gotta go from this, the right edge. Right edge puts it there. Uh, wait, did I win? No. I don't know why. I thought I heard a chime for a second for some reason. This does not work. None of these turn. That gets us there, but we need to start from the middle. I'm starting to think maybe I should just start turning things. Nick is one click away of the answer, but he rebuilt the whole thing twice. People say that kind of thing a lot, though. And sometimes they just don't see it. Why do they look so bright red from a distance? Is that saying I did that part right or something? Some of these lines you're looking at are not going the way you think. Alright, I believe that. Was I really onto it from the first try? Um... Like, that one, I can't really look at it straight away. Oh, maybe that's the way I needed it to be. If I could look straight at it, that would probably help, but I can't. It's in the middle puzzle.
I don't see too many options here. That kind of has to structure that way. This doesn't turn. Right? That doesn't... Doesn't matter which direction it goes in. Just... Yeah, there's no angles that I can use to turn that around. Yeah, it gets me closer to crouch, but it's not... It's not perfect either. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Uh, I mean, I solved it, but I don't know why yet. Oh, it has to swirl back down and then curls back up. Gotcha. Alright. Whoa. That's pretty weird. I'm glad that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, actually. Okay, what now? Ah! Just a reminder, Dr. Brown, your hidden experiment lies in the basements. Uh, basement, congratulations on being super sneaky. I thought they would have caught you by now. Let's have another reality, but there's a whole other experiment. Okay, so I gotta take the elevator to the ground floor to the basement. Your reward, four mazes. Please tell me you're kid. Excuse me, you're kidding. Oh, hello. Basement. To dream of a basement represents your deepest, dankest thoughts and memories. It points to problems that you don't want to deal with or issues that may be very uncomfortable thinking about. Overcoming the fear of this area will help you get over problems you are uncomfortable with. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Is it weird that puzzle puts stress on me? I feel my heart beating and sweat dripping. Maybe there needs to be a little uh, bubble that tells us about what that means. Oh wow, we're going way down. Down, down, baby. We gotta start at the bottom. And then we'll get here. Alright, you've made your point. Yeah, it's real fucking low in the ground. Okay, I got it. Music's getting kind of weird and janky. Okay. Oh, 40, 51, 72, question marks. Hello. Is this where we have to do a little multiple choice game like in Silent Hill 2? Okay. Now we're going to do Spooky's House of Jump Scares 2.0. Down, down, down to a burning ring of fire. Oh, hell yes. That's what my secret experiment was this whole time? I could have gone in those other dreams. I didn't. Well, there's stuff I didn't see. Pretty sure. Jesus, my head. What's that awful racket? It's your head. Your head's making noise. You have a uh, instant head exploding technique. It's got little plot points. Oh, maybe this is like a marker showing the places I've been in my dreams and all the ways they could connect. If it is that, that's actually pretty clever. Footsteps. Oh, what's up with, like, the frame rate here? Uncle Edward? Child laughing? No children may laugh on my watch. Uh-oh. I swear to God if I have to listen to another voicemail. Yeah, we have to go deeper, guys. I need a kicker. Oh, I think I can see through the edge of this. You guys see anything spooky in there? I just see paint cans.
Alright, I don't see anything worth exploring here. Kinda don't really want to go up to the attic, but... Oh, it doesn't let me anyway. I don't think we, uh... We set that area up. What? I'm guessing that wasn't, uh... Voice acted yet. Because I didn't hear him say it. something just run when I turned that on? Stop putting all the stuff in the toilets. Oh, come on. Children can't walk like that. It just makes no gosh darn sense. At least the door isn't bricked over anymore. Oh, we can't go in there. Ah. Now this is what I was after. Pick the wrong one and I'll eat your soul! Always uh, been a bit of a blonde fan, but maybe. Oh, I'm picking blonde brunettes or redheads? That's all I see. I'm gonna go pick redhead. This Lynn's a redhead. I don't know why I'm picking this, but we'll figure it out later. Maybe I'm vouching for the truth or fiction of something that I don't know yet? Okay. Oh, am I recreating a specific person based on attire and hairstyle? I think that's what I'm doing. Uh, your buttons are a little screwed up, though. How about that one? Redhead is best head. I keep thinking I see things running on the floor, but it's probably just my shadow and or anti-aliasing issues. <laughs> Where is his laughing child? Are you the one that's been playing piano all this time? Also, did you know your dreams are basically haunted and made of ghosts? I can just knock the child down some stairs. Welcome to the Circus of Value! That's kind of what I thought we were going for there with those. Am I just supposed to imagine... the person that I'm recreating here? Where do I get this information? Exactly. Stop closing all the doors, dude. Oh. Did I do it right? Everybody's got a cupcake. Where's my cupcake? Chat, do you want to be my cupcake? You're like a cake that I would get from a cup. Aw, oh, it's time to play penguin ball for a while. Penguin ball is my favorite ball. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think uh, Mitkin really set the stage here with that comment, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening either. And we're back to Halloween. I think maybe I'll pack up the Halloween uh, stuff now. If that is still an option. I trust it is. Yep, pack it up. Pack it in. Let me begin. System of a Phoenix Down. <laughs> hey, Angel. How's it going? Should I even bother looking around the house when I'm not in trippy dream mode, or... Just kind of move on? I 
Everything looks pretty normal. Pretty not. Well, that's another program you never finished. Completely Howard. nuts. All right, this is actually all exactly the same. There needs to be something to do here outside of the dreams, because all of these objects are just, you click them once, you click them again, and then you never really have to click them again, ever again. Can't tell if it wants to be Gone Home, Alcamilla, or Silent Hill. It seems to be riding the line between all three at times. Alright, where's the stair button? Go away, stairs. Now we don't have to be greeted by bloody bats every time we come out of a dream. We do need to play with Penguin Ball, though. Yay! It's like the only thing you can really interact with. I like this. So we've seen The Office. We've seen Winter World. We've seen The Cube Land. We've seen The Research Station. And... What does that say? It seems to change in different locations, pointing to the map. So I guess by the end of the game, you've mapped the whole cork board up. Which is pretty sweet. Hope it's a good dream tonight. Last night was a little weird. It's like a a pretty boring life that this person leads outside of just going back to bed over and over again. I was hoping there'd be a bit more of a tying narrative as to why this person wants to sleep so much. I'm guessing depression. But the narration does not seem to suggest that. The character seems chipper as ever. And I would assume if all is as according to plan, most likely this is now the third, yes, Ancient Mortality. And there's still the two more arches available within the last area. Although the first one I don't believe had any extenuating arches or extra arches. I don't know. We shall see. Earlier, the binary on the textbook said, I'm ill. I'm thinking mental illness, maybe depression. That would explain it. That would at least give us a little bit of context to work from. Oh, this is really pretty. I kind of like it with the really hazy, kind of not fully awake moment. Now that it's a bit less dreamy, it's, uh... Well, not, not enchanting, but it's not quite on the same level. This is very mist, isn't it? Uh, each one of them says unlocked or or not, I suppose. This is cool. This is a uh, vacation spot, apparently. I would love to see a place like this IRL. Almost seems impossible, but they really do exist. Pretty solid curtain there. Doesn't seem like there's anything inside. You know what else this is? This music is reminding me of Final Fantasy VII a little bit, too. Okay, this bridge is clearly going to come down at some point. Shit, man, looks like we've got a lot of these things to explore. Which is it's fine, but could get a little monotonous a little quickly, yeah? There's nothing interactable in this at all. Okay, the world is very empty. Hey, Tony2k2, how's it going? The only hints I have are that the ones I've walked in should hopefully have the doors stay open after I've opened them. What's that monolith out in the water there? It's like fragmented like a lighthouse, it looks like. It's like everything just froze in place. Oh, we got a couple of beers. Chilling in the cooler. Pretty music. I've really enjoyed the music all throughout this, uh, maybe with the exception of that one piano thing that just never stopped while the guy was talking on the answering machine. Holy shit! That's so many pillows! I've never seen that many pillows on a couch before, stacked that way too. Also the edges look so thin. There's so many pillows. 